Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a painting of Angvon. We are going to do a new part on the painting tutorial and this time we are going to paint the axe what we have here. So we have done the sword on the previous part, we have done the wings in, in previous parts and all the what you, you see here and we keep working on, on it. So now it's time for the axe to be painted. So hope you're liking what you have seen up to now. And as you can see, I like to paint the weapons before assembling. I have done this in previous parts, so if you want to know how this was done, please um, check in my previous videos. And now we are focused on the axe. And I will start with this part here, okay? So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to apply a color. No, I think I will do the next. I will take directly the one of the colors from um, the workshop, from the contrast paints. So it's called a skeleton horde, the contest skeleton horde, and we are going to apply this directly on this um, small skeleton. You can see I go with a big brush. Um, this should be good enough. And we just apply this. You can apply it in both sides, have a lot of texture. So you will expect that the contrast will work here perfectly. Now the option is to apply seraphine sepia. Okay, if you want a softer contrast. I like to have high contrasting uh, finishings. I, I like a lot the contrast on the miniature, so I apply this because it will give me a little bit more contrast, darker this part, as I want to do the other part in, in between brass and metallics, okay? <clears throat> so we apply that, as you can see, not much mystery if I go, and I did that because I can go over the frame without any problem. I, I want to be sure that the, the, the frame is well defined. This is why I prefer to go over the frame but ensuring that I have um, paint in the, just next to the frame I have a, a, a dark um, area, okay? So I just want to be sure that I have applied enough. Um, maybe you can apply two layers. Uh, I do like that. You can see here I like, would like a little bit more. Okay, also try not that be careful on the parts that are pull, is pulling a little bit. You can remove it with the, your brush. Uh, okay. And then I also take, check the other part. It looks good. So I will let it rest flat and wait that this dies. Okay, next step. I'm going to use light belcher and we are going to paint almost everything in light belcher um, you can see how it looks like after doing that okay we may do I, I want to wait that it device a little bit more but because I, what I'm going to do should not be a problem for later I'm going to take light belcher and paint most of the weapon in that color okay this ring I will keep it in gold or brass like I have done on this fort. Okay, but I will paint all this in lead belcher. Uh, the tubes, these tubes, I want to keep them in black so I will not go over them. But if I go a little bit over them, it's not a problem. This way, I always try to start from the most deep parts to the most external. Normally. Okay, so the parts that have more difficult to reach to the one that you have easier reach. Uh, I would also I like to paint these corrugated tubes as well in metallics, and as well this um, um, engine case I will also paint it in in the same metallic as well as the um, axe teeth. Okay, so I paint all this in lead belcher, and I'm back for the next step. Okay, so this color look like I have weighted this device quite, quite nicely. And next, I'm going to use um, not this one. I'm going to use. This one. this one, great one, and I'm going to do a little bit of dry brushing over the schools because I want to make it them a little bit lighter. So shake it well. Take a little bit.
and we are going to the bar brush. Very gently, this is why I have not done the gold yet, so I want really to pop up here the details. I want to have a little bit more lighter color and we are going to do the same here. Like that. You don't need to do more. This is enough. Now, I'm going to take Noon oil and we are going to wash the metallic. Okay. So this is not noon oil. Here it is. Again, a shake. And to do that, as I will need to hold it. I will use this clip and then I can I can leave it without a problem. Okay, so I take some, you can see again I do it before doing any other part because uh, you can do this without being too concerned about dirtening. want to make sure that these slots are black. The only thing you have to be careful is that sometimes it, it can do like that the brush and splash a little bit of ink, think of wash, you want to avoid this, okay? So if it goes on, you can splash on the skin. So I apply here, and I want to be sure that between the teeth I have black, because it will give the contours I'm looking for. Okay. And again, we wait that this device before doing any further step. I will wait that this device. Okay, so this is how the weapon looks like now that we have done the black, the wash, sorry, with noon uh, oil. Now we're going to do a dry brushing with silver, okay? The same silver, this one, that we used to highlight the... But in that case we're going to do the dry brush, this way I'm not doing yet the gold part. Yes. We're going to do like that. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Here as well, a little bit. With that, um, I think it's good enough. Now I'm going to take again noon oil. And this time I'm going to go more to the places where I want to make it darker. Okay, I close this. oil, the tail brush in that case, and I will apply it in places where I want to increase the shade, okay? Here, I will do for example here. I'll do this tube. All the places where you have the feeling that you want to increase a little bit the shade, 
and maybe it went a little bit off with the dry brushing. Over the previous shade did not work as you expected and you want to make it a little bit darker. I will do a wrong this. darker just where you have the feeling that you want to go darker and now I realized that I forgot to do the brushing on the teeth of the of the saw but it's something that I can do later on okay okay like that so stop when you feel that you are you like what you see as I said I forgot to do the brushing Okay. Now I will use <coughs> ready with the armor. We are going to do the frame of the axe. Okay, so with ready with the armor, I'm going to do this. The best way to do this type of things is I go with a brush horizontally and I just go without putting not putting too much pressure on the brush and then you go like that. So I will do this frame of the axe and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to use Reglan flesh sheet and I'm going to apply this on the gold part. in the middle and I allow the wash to do this gradient leaving the middle of the frame darker and the edges of the frame lighter okay we want to just close the arrow and like that I will do as well the other side so I will do this I with this device and I'm back Okay, next step I'm going to use Auric Armor Gold and I'm going to edge highlight the, the golden bar. Okay. So to increase a little bit more the contrast. So we use a fine brush. We do like that. 
I will also do this thing here. And I will leave it in purpose in a lighter yellow. Here's one, this one. Then we're going to do the tubes later on. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Like that. Also here. So I will do this on this side and on the other side of course. Let's see. Then the, the, the different rivets or nails I'm going to line like that. This one I will also highlight. Then I will work. Okay, we have a, mis a mistake like that. I have light brown on my palette. Take a little bit and then I will eliminate this mistake there. That's all. This is a small mistake. You can use a light brown to do the correction. I uh, use a slack brown in that case. Okay, and then I will keep going like that. So it's all the time the same, just passionately do the edge. Once this is done, I will do, do this all around and I'm back. Next, I'm going to do silver to do an, an extra highlight on some parts, like the rivers. I want them to pop up a little bit more. On the, on the corners Then I have every armor wall We then need to do more remove a little bit of silver. You want to make some parts a little bit brighter? And I do the same on the other side. Okay, this cover is looking now the axe. 
Okay, next step I'm going to use black templar and I'm going to do some of the tubes. And this will be the final step on this weapon. So I'm going to paint this too. Okay. Now I'm going to glue the arm to the body. And I will check how everything is matching and we are going to do the final touches. Ok, so the weapon is glued now. You can see, this is how we look like. And I just want to do final touch, that is I will use um, this one um, Scaven Blight Dink. And I will use as well Downstone to add some highlights on the black cables as well as, well as just to clean up if there is a mistake right here I will use the corpus black okay so what we do is we take first the scaven blight We go over, then we take downstone, we do like that, and this is taking a scaven blind, and I this is not going to work. So this here, and you can use a little bit of administratum grey Okay, you want to use the last thing light downstone. Scaven light because I went too far. Okay, we do the same here. Apply downstone. Okay, and then you can use the scaven blind. Ah, hey, scaven blind. Sorry. And many I'm going to do scaven blind. Here I'm going to use first corpus. Like that. Okay, and that's all. So we have done now the axe and we are ready to do now the final touch. So let me just zoom out a little bit. So this is how it looks like after the two arms have been glued. Okay, I think it's very threatening the miniature and I like a lot how it's looking like at this moment. Okay, next part we are going to finalize the work. So I just want to introduce um, what I have done. So this whole looks like, and I have done, I already prepared the other parts that have to be attached to the guy, just yes? the rest of the armor, some screws, and, the, and mainly the shoulder pads. So this have, uh, next part, I'm going to finalize that, and I'm going to do the final assembly and show you how everything looks like once all the parts are put together. So I hope you have enjoyed. Please, 
Give a like if you have liked this video, share if you think other people can, can be interested. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye! I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything.